All right, I'm going to attempt to do something here, some inlay work on this piece of uh, Douglas fir. I've always wanted to do this kind of stuff, but uh, never had the capability really to do it. This is going to allow me to do that. So what I've got here is this is approximately three quarters of an inch thick. So I've got my um, tape board um, shimmed up to just barely under the under the height of this and then you can see that I've got on my screen here my dog bone shape now it's approximately uh, 4 by 2 and you can see here I can rotate it or let's just say I wanted to uh, replace this was a defect in the wood I wanted to replace. I can put it over that defect and and by moving the router I can place it at any angle I want. Uh, but there is also a way to rotate it here on the screen. You can dial, you can put in whatever angle you want. You can if you want 39 degrees, you can punch that in, or you can take take the presets here, 45, 90, 135, or 180. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rotate it, but th that's that's an option. You can also scale it, and here it says it's um, 4.295 by 2.789. So I could uh, change that if I wanted to. I can make the width 4. Click OK. And oh, I know why it's OK. Never mind. So I'm going to I'm going to take that design. Yeah, I'm going to import it again. there so the reason it's that odd dimension is because it's measuring it from from this way if if you are measuring from this line to this line it is four inches and from top corner to bottom corner two inches so uh, there it is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my board right here Let's see, although maybe I want to try something here. Hang on one second. I put some scribe lines down here. And those uh, tick marks that I, that I engraved on the, on the base, I'm going to line it up with that and see what happens. So I'm going to place it here. And now we're going to do the cut. Let me zoom this out again. The cut is going to be an inside cut. We're using a quarter inch bit. Gonna touch it off. Okay. And now you can see that that wide line there is my inside cut. Actually, well, that's okay. I can come back and do a pocket later. Um, depth of cut. Let's go eighth inch to start. I just had this thought. I should cut the, uh, the dog bone first, the male part, and then cut the pocket. 
So let me do that first here. Not sure how this is going to work, but I've got them, my piece. I've got a couple pieces of double stick tape underneath here. And I'm going to cut the dog bone off of this end. And I'm cutting it on the outside. So let's just see how this goes. I've got my still my depth of cut set at an eighth of an inch. I probably should touch this off again here. Okay, we're good to go there. Let's see what happens. Should have measured the depth of the plow before I cut it, but it, I cut it pretty clean, just barely into my board underneath here. I cut it at uh, 0.23. Probably could have got away with a little less than that. That worked out pretty well. I'm uh, I'm glad that I didn't have to, you know, do this in the middle of the board. I didn't waste that much material. So there's my there's my positive. Okay, so it, me it measures just under 0 0.20. So I want, you know, if this was a piece of solid wood, you want it to be a little proud of the surface, so you could sand it uh, flush. So I'm going to make it uh, 0 0.190. Okay, okay to that. And now we can start cutting. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh, and you know what? When I anchored this uh, down it is right on my baseline because of that that's what I used I forgot to put it in the anchor point of this of the center but that's that's okay it it does tell me that it is my lines are pretty true I'm right there on that line with the bottom corner and I would say that the center line is pretty darn close as well but that looks awesome that looks awesome. I don't know if I can, I, I don't think I can even get that out of there. Probably not. Don't even want to try. I drilled a hole on the back, on the back side so that I can push it out. You can see where my Forstner bit just touched this. So it was in this way like this. And this is a symmetrical, actually, I think it was, let's see here. That was this way, because I chipped that little piece out there. So it's in like that. And then, to just to see how symmetrical it is, I'm just going to flip it over and try and put it in the other way here.
and fits equally as well. Boy, oh boy, I'm impressed with that. That's nice. All right, now, thanks for watching.